I want to talk to you about Abraham and uh, how God worked in his life. But in his failure, he moved from worship to worry. Uh, I do that. I have a problem with that myself. I can be so excited and so blessed and so in love with Jesus. And then things can bother me. It can be just a like a, a cold wind that blows from the devil or an extremely hot wind that blows from the devil that just takes you away from that peace at worship. In Genesis chapter 12 and verse uh, 1, God is talking to Abram, Abram at that time. He's still called Abram. And he's telling him, you will be a blessing and you uh, will be blessed. And you're going to do great things. And uh, so the first thing I want you to think about with me is that God blesses us to be a blessing. Sometimes when you read about the nation of Israel, you think that, boy, God sure was good to them. But in effect, God gave them great responsibility. Uh, uh, he was blessing them so that they would be blessed. And by the way, as much as Abraham was blessed, we're blessed. We're blessed by having the salvation of God, the word of God. We have the church of God. God's given us the finances to be able to live our lives and do ministry. God has done so much in our lives that we must realize that with those blessings come great responsibility. We, like Abraham, are blessed to be a blessing. So we should consider how we manage our money, how we handle the blessings of God, how we handle our family, how we handle our life. How do we do all that? God used the family of Abraham to get us the Bible and the church and even the Lord Jesus. And, uh, and he is also promising to send him back and he will eventually do through the nation of Israel world evangelism. And that leads Abraham to worship. Worship will come because Abraham all of a sudden considers and thinks about what God has done in his life. I want to call on you to count your many blessings, name them one by one. Think of all the things that God has done. God's at work in your life. I know you've had some hard times. I know some things have happened that hurt you deeply all the way to the core. But the truth is, we are overly abundantly blessed. We are super blessed by God. And God has been good to us. That's when we'll wake up and say, boy, I worship him. I was in a book by Max Licato this morning. It really blessed me. He talked about this most wonderful moment. And I wondered what he meant by that. And what a good writer does. He said, you, you know, you wake up in the morning, your breath is so bad you could stain the wall and your hair is wrinkled and there's sleep in your eyes and your face is all messed up and you're messed up and you're nothing clean and nobody should see you at this hour. And you walk in and look in the mirror and there it is. You see exactly what the blessing is because you see you with all your warts and not presentable and not who you are and you're the one God loves you just like you are, right where you are with all that's going on in your life. God has blessed all of us. We are blessed to be a blessing.